Welcome to The Music Reel. I'm your host, Nicola Burton. Today I'm speaking with Kath Palfreyman, who is the PR manager for Nando's in Australia. Kath, thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. How are you going? I'm really well. So in Melbourne, still in stage four lockdown, but um, we have an announcement on Sunday, so we'll see where we get to. Let's fingers crossed that you yeah. guys can actually be released into the wild sooner rather than Exactly. Before. Yeah. Okay. I'm so inspired by all the stories that I'm hearing around the world, programs and initiatives which are supporting the music industry, which obviously really needs right now. So let's talk. You've got Nando's and Support Act coming together to create this wonderful program. Perhaps you can tell us about what that is, how it came about, and I guess how music artists can actually get involved in it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, really. So um, we met Clive Miller, the CEO of Support Act, uh, last year through our music exchange programs that we run in Melbourne and Sydney. And um, Clive made such a great impact on me personally, um, just talking about mental health for the music industry, but also um, talking to the participants that came along to a music exchange program there. And um, we always knew that we wanted to keep in touch and work together more. And uh, come March this year, when COVID-19 hit, we uh, looked at what we could do then. So I think originally everyone was sort of thinking about how do we help people that are on the front line and emergency services and healthcare workers. But very soon it became clear that this was actually going to be a real economic impact to the music industry as well. So um, Support Act were able to source government funding and grants for ongoing support for people in the music industry. And um, we saw an opportunity there to offer support on top of that in the way of um, gift cards to people in the industry to come and eat with Nando's. So we've always given them um, catering at, at events and um, at their shows and things like that. And we wanted to continue that support and we thought one of the best ways to do that would be actually through support. So go, going back to the, the, the body that knows how to work with the artists and, and crew and musicians and people within the industry rather than going it alone. It's, uh, it's great because you're actually letting them know that you're thinking of them and it's such a nice way for them to feel supported. So I also want to shine a spotlight on what Nando's has been doing for a few years now. You've been supporting the music industry. So there's a global music exchange program. I think it would be great. Can you tell us a little bit about that so that we understand, I guess, the bigger picture of Nando's contribution to this industry? Yeah, so um, we believe in young people and we're very serious about helping them thrive um, the majority of our workforce within our restaurants are young people. And we know that music is a great connector for them, but we also know that Nando's is a great connector for the music industry. So because we're a global brand, um, artists around the world love us. They came, uh, I think we're in over 30 countries, so that they, they, there's consistency, they can come into Nando's and get a feed. Um, so there, there's been a long connection there and um, we don't ask for anything back from the music artists. It's always just about what can we do to help fuel your industry and fuel, you know, your tummies. And um, artists have always been asking how they can give back. So um, the Global Music Exchange started in the UK a couple of years ago and they saw an opportunity to, rather than give back to Nando's, how could we expand it and use the um, music industry skills to actually give back into their industry so it, it's really getting mentors from the music industry in with up and coming um, music creatives, industry creatives. So um, people that haven't got an established a career yet but want to create a career in music and how we can work together and get the artists to act as mentors to these people. So the UK um, program works with the Roundhouse, which is in Camden, and that's for um, youth as well there. and. Uh, the, the idea is to come together, put them into studios and collaborate and come out with music at the end of a, a few days in a workshop. We sent some people over in 2017 for the first year to do that, blown away by it. We sent over six, seven people, but and that's a, a small number and we thought, how can we build on this locally? And obviously we feed artists locally as well. So we had a um, pool of of artists and um, industry mentors that wanted to help so we created local workshops as well. Kath it's brilliant because you've got this global company 
making such a difference to our industry and then getting the industry involved to sort of feed back into its own business. Which, exactly. You know, big, big tick, I guess, all, all round. Um, I wanted to, I guess, talk about the figures, the figures of, you know, what's happening in our industry. And just to give people yeah. an idea, they might be going, well, you know, Nando's are helping big deal. Uh, it's a massive deal and I'll tell you why. In, in America, $877 billion, 4.5% of their GDP will probably go this year. That's, that's what the arts, the music contribute. In yeah, Australia, $12 billion, 6.4% of our GDP probably disappear. In, in, in the UK, the arts and the culture industry alone contribute more to the bottom line than agriculture. Like these are sobering figures. And the Australian Live Music Business Council today announced that without assistance and without change to restrictions, 70% of the live music businesses in Australia won't survive past six months. I mean, these are just terrifying statistics. So it's Devastating, yeah. It is. So, like, I'm, I'm curious to hear from you, Kath, what are your thoughts on this industry that contributes so much to the wellness of humanity and also, obviously, to each nation's bottom line? How do we survive this? It's... I mean, to, to go back, you know, um, December, January, Australia was ravaged by bushfires and we've got the music industry that had to, you know, Falls Festival was cancelled and things like that. You've got these artists that went and put on shows and, you know, large-scale events, donating their time, everything to, you know, to raise money for people in, in these bushfire um, areas that, less than two months later are in a position themselves where, you know, their, their livelihood has been taken away from them. It's just absolutely devastating. I think that um, you, you can see artists are doing, are doing their best to try and create new opportunities, but it's really hard to, to go online and, and offer a live event um, and, and try and ticket it. You know, I, I mean, I, Obviously, I don't have I don't have the solution. I think our our, our best help is you know, our doors are always open, and we're still here to support and feed these artists. And Thank that you. definitely won't change going into the future. And I think things like that we always know they make such a big difference. Um, yeah. Being able to when when we feed people on tour, we don't just feed the artists; we feed their support team and the rest of the yeah. crew as well. So those, ty those types of things are going to make such a difference to them knowing that when they're putting together their budgets, yeah. that cross that off the list and, you know, put <laughs> it back into, put, put the money back into something else. You know, it's a pleasure for us to be able to do that and help, help the Aussie music industry. It is such a massive help. And I think almost just listening to you talking, it's, it's like Nando's have provided this blueprint for other organisations around the world to take a leaf out of your book and come up with programs like this where you can use the talent of the arts, the creative, the musicians to, you know, to build business but support them in another way. And I think you guys have actually led the way, which is brilliant. Kat, I'm so grateful that you've taken the time to share this story with me today. And anyone who wants to know more, I'll have all the information in the post. Kat, look after yourself in that second lockdown down Thank there. Thank you. Will do. <laughs> Love you. And hoping on Sunday that, you know, you are released earlier than you know, you yeah. <laughs> Look, absolutely thank you so much to Support Act and to mm. Nando's for being so incredibly supportive of our industry at this time of great need. Kath, thank you for your time today. No, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.